Ember, you will remember, -ber. or something really? like that. Remember. Uh, also, I think that was that was the entire. That's like the lyrics. Period. There's, there was nothing else in that song, it but Ember. It, it actually had more lyrics. Than oh yeah, that. yeah. I, I think I remember now, but I mostly yes. remember to say uh, Ember. Maybe you will remember. remember. Hmm? So yeah, this is another episode of Rare Rothingham, the world's least professional podcast um, on earth. We got a small team with us today. We got Xaverius. Citation needed. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 you know, I don't think you're properly sourced, Xaverius. Exactly. And we got Secular. Hello, I'm here. And there's of course me. The Artrix. And then there's Penboy, but he's hiding. Why are you hiding, Penboy? No, I'm not hiding. You're hiding. Oh. And we got Penboy with us. Today I'll be drawing Ember from Ember. And um, because we should remember the Ember. Especially yes. since uh, today is a very special day. Since uh, today is exactly one year ago. Some guy decided to uh, be Ember. To remember go Ember, he went ghost, and he's still the one of the internet's laughing lol cows, so to speak. I remember Ember by murder. Hmm? That doesn't even rhyme. Yeah, that that makes you wonder how the whole uh, you know one uh, your your family member got killed by this guy, so he got the funeral. You know, there's so there's the funeral. Everyone's just sitting in. Uh, in 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 the hall or whatever it is in chapel, there you know, and the the parents are are holding a speech, and uh, it's like uh, yeah, our our beloved son, he was so great, and and he was killed by a guy that uh, that thought he would go to some. Well, I think you know, they'd have to look it up. They have like a little note that says Amber Ghost Squad. Like what the <laughs> fuck? This is what I. This is what our son died for. What? What is this shit? Why, why are you even giving this guy memories? Well, I'm, I'm, act, I'm actually. You are horrible, horrible people. Yeah, I know. Yes, Alex, you are horrible people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am people, uh, as in plural. Yes. I'm several persons. Uh, look, Atix, you, you, you are too tall. It's too suspicious. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, since I'm so tall, I actually count you for are, two people. So, you are uh, just two normal people in a trench coat. I don't actually own a trench coat. That doesn't mean you are not. Oh, okay. I've, uh, oh, okay. You, you got me. You, you cracked the code. You see, I'm actually, you know, two guys and I'm wearing a... a human-shaped trench coat that looks exactly like one human. Exactly. Let the bottom guy speak sometimes. You, you can't actually see that uh, that it's two people or that it's even trench coats. You'll just see one guy, but it's actually two guys. You have to unzip your pants. Oh yeah, going to the bathroom is very awkward. It's like... Uh, yeah, you constantly have to say no homo and it gets old really fast. So, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, since since we started with that topic, uh, well, is there really anything to add about no, this whole No, homosexuals are people and they are allowed to marry that, that's all. Oh uh, yeah, but that's, that's, uh, that, well, that goes without saying. I mean, that's... <laughs> that goes without saying. Yes, now, I, was, I was talking about the whole Ember Squad thing. Cause, uh, but yeah, there's there's nothing to add to it. It's like... Yeah, well, perfection. Add... Oh my god, someone has to add something to it. Add something, if you allow me to. Of course, go ahead. No. That is... Arkman Senpai still didn't notice him. Oh, I... I, I One year later and Arkman Senpai still hasn't noticed him. Uh, I... I... I doubt that uh, Hartman is completely oblivious about this, but uh, he certainly hasn't responded to it, which is great. I, I mean, 
there, there's a few things that can be said about Butch Hartman, but uh, I definitely rec- recommend him for to command him on not giving this guy any kind of publicity. I mean, leave that to us. We we are much more uh, deserving of uh, of uh, noticing than uh, Hartman. Yeah. Uh, a lot less professional than Hartman. Exactly. That's why I'd rather have us spend time on this debacle than have Hartman spend his uh, valuable time on this this issue. I mean, he could be making new cartoons right about now. Well, he actually is, but I mean, he he moved to Cartoon Network, didn't he? Or it wasn't Did something you... else. That was both that uh, that uh, misconception people made video about how he used to work. Oh, okay. Work. Do do we actually know? Currently, oh, yes. Mostly doing uh, YouTube stuff. And he's drawing commissions. Does that... Does, yes. that, does that pay the bills? Just making YouTube videos and doing commissions? He has a shit ton of subscribers. And he's fully monetized. Okay, that's a uh, oh, oh. famous and people want people will pay you for art just because you're famous. Come mm-hmm. on now. That's very true, but uh, you know, it's still apparently he... also runs some, yes, he also runs some app which also gives him money from people who have that app. Oh, okay. So in other words, he's got his finances covered, and he can basically just ride on this. Uh, this is pretty money. Yeah, he's basically like PewDiePie, but but with cartoons and and drawings. Pretty money for free hmm? Well, this it is obvious that he is very famous. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you did mention how many subscribers he has. So how many That's subscribers does? How many subscribers does he have? Well, it's not as much as PewDiePie, as far as I know. I mean, he's still the most subscribed to person on the planet, right? Or did which someone one? else take... Um, which one? Uh, Earth. Soul 3. Oh. Butch Hartman has... Currently, Butch Hartman has... 7,000... Uh, I, I read... Oh, no. 7, 744,000... 78 subscribers. Alright, so yeah. so well over 700k. Also, we got a back phone with us. Hi! Uh, hello. 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 Exactly. Well, so, since, since we're on the subject of uh, cartoons and uh, the Ember Ghost Squawk, I mean squad, I mean... What? Uh, so, so there was there was you know a little thing going on at uh, our beloved institution that is known as uh, CalArts, right? No. Okay, oh. that's an institution. I don't think it's an institution, Alex. Well, it's a, it is a kind of a mental institution. That's right. Hmm. 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 What a joke. So exactly. They're the ones responsible for Thundercats, right? Um, sort of. I mean, not not directly the... responsible. I'm the ones I could blame. Tumblr cats. Exactly. Like directly, directly. Like they directly. They they're like the ones that made it. It's not like they... uh, Cartoon Network hired a bunch of people. No, it was call arts that just did directly. Look, look. What happened is somebody at some point. Somewhere created an awful style and it got named CalArts. Thus, everything that even resembles that is entirely CalArts' fault. All right, I, I... It's like the early 2000s styles, like Texas Laboratory and Alpha of Girls. People were also bashing on this. Oh, yeah, but uh, to, to be honest, I actually kind of like People the... also called it the CalArts style. That's the best part. Even well, back yeah. then, yes. Yeah. I'm always de- des- describe something that is popular and and that nerds hate. 
So that yeah. means in about 20 years, people will love the style of today and hate the style of in 20 years. Well, more or less. Sounds about right. That's basically what growing all this. <laughs> well, I mean, if the today's trends continue, then in 20 years, the cartoons will be just a series of dots moving on a featureless background, so... That's not true. There's plenty of cartoons I hated when, they, when I was a kid, and they were new. Okay, give me one example. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes. But it's still ongoing. Well, the hate continues, and <laughs> The hate continues. And, and uh, I didn't particularly care for Ren and Stimpy. Oh, okay. That's a kind of uh, somewhat uh, controversial opinion you got there. I mean, uh, you know, most people argue that uh, they, that they would uh, like the show quite a lot. Well, I think I got you a, a controversial opinion. <gasps> I never, I never saw a single Ren or Stimpy. You, you never saw a single Ren or Stimpy? Yes. Not even an episode. No. You haven't. You, you've never even seen the characters before. I, I didn't have the giant range of cable or satellite TV. Mm -hmm. See, I had only the three programs, and that was through a, well. So you know that was my situation as well, but then I got the internet, and I basically started catching up on all the. Yes, texts. I got the internet and I stopped watching any kind of show whatsoever because there's seven billion games that it's playing. Mm -hmm. Well, except for Powerpuff, uh, the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, uh, Powerpuff what? Girls, the serial game. Yes, I'm pretty sure there's a few Powerpuff Girls games out there. Although, speaking of Powerpuff Girls, here's a Although very... Part, look at this, the important part about this is the serial. Wait, what now? The serial. Like, who didn't have, like, six identical CDs with games on them from serial boxes? Oh, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, but what I was talking about was... There was also a cow and chicken serial. If I remember, um, the, there's the cowardly dog cereal. It, it, it's, it's America. There's, um, there's a cereal virtually any object that uh, that you can imagine. I'm pretty sure if you think of asphalt, there's probably somewhere in this time space continuum that has created a cereal completely dedicated to asphalt <laughs> or not. I don't know, but uh, apparently, Ace. <laughs> From like one of the villains in Cart in in the Powerpuff Girls is now in in um I'm not sure if he's like an actual band member of Gorillas, but he so he's officially a band band member now. But he, is he is he officially a gorilla? Uh, well, with the, considering the fact that he's green and uh, presumably quite hairy, um, yeah, sure, he's That's a gorilla. I don't think gorillas are green. I, I think you are mistaking that for sure. No, slot. no, I'm gonna stop you Stamps right. No, green, I'm gonna you know. stop you right there and say that uh, Mojo Jojo was sort of green. I guess maybe. He was a chimpanzee. Yeah. No, I I don't I don't care. He's uh, an he's an ape. You keep confusing them with sloths because you know those are very fast animals, so they are green. Oh yeah, the um, sloths are really fast. That's very exactly. true. That that's uh, completely grounded in uh, true and facts. That's why they're that's why they're green. They're green chieftains. Oh, also, uh, also, I'd I'd rather see like a sloth than uh, than, than than a koala. Like wow. if 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 I had to choose between spending eternity with a sloth and eternity with uh, with a koala, I I would choose a sloth in a heartbeat. Well, if I had to choose between a koala and Thundercats roar. I really don't know what to choose. Yeah, that's well. I guess I would go with Thunder Thundercats roar because at least then I can like um, make up my own stories and actually try and make it work. With whereas with a koala, you're stuck in a room with a koala that's just retarded. But what if the Thundercats look like koalas most of the time? You know, they're pretty amorphous blue yeah, but, like but shape. At least there would be some variety between the characters. 
A koala is just a koala that makes a really retarded noises and is very hard to keep alive because they only eat eucalyptus yeah, exactly. and that, nothing that, else. That's, that's, that's the advantage of a koala. It might die soon. Delicious. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is uh, stay the fuck away from koalas. Just don't, don't bother. Just don't. Yeah. Just don't koala. Please, no koala beyond this point. Yes. No koala ing allowed. Anyway, what prompted this whole ordeal? It's 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 not a very big topic, and but it's... it is a topic than endless. All right, so so to to breach to breach this topic, I'll I'll start with a little anecdote. Oh no! So 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 a long long time ago, when I was in, in my earth, far, far away. away, when I was in my late teens or early twenties. I was working yes, in an internship. That's been like 40 years now. Mm -hmm. More like 50. Anyways, so uh, I, I was a young'un and I was working at this company. It was a very important job. And uh, so I was just doing my job, just doing office work, just being an office drone. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. um, there was like an announcement over the intercom that meant something like this. The this internet was... exists now. So, uh, so they were like, "Okay, you guys." Um, so we just got this bomb threat. S someone is, is is threatening to blow up the building. But um, y yeah, you're you know you can go and do something else. You know you can not work or you you can just keep on working. It, it doesn't really fucking matter. <laughs> uh, but the, it's the, your choice. But go if off or don't. But if you feel unsafe, uh, yeah, you, you, you should probably leave the building. I was like, whatever. And I just kept working. Then he exploded. No, because it was just stupid bomb threat. It wasn't even credible. It was like, yeah, this, this guy is like, uh, you know, for one thing, you know, imagine this. You you want to no. you want to inflict a lot of damage to a lot of people, right? That that's that's the whole purpose of a bomb threat or bombing a place. I mean, just just look at the Emperor Squawk guy. He was like, he just did the thing unexpectedly, but this guy sent specifically sent out a bomb threat. He was like, I am going to bomb this place. That's not very credible to me because I'm like, now I know you're gonna bomb the place. So you're probably not gonna do that. Because why the fuck would you announce that you're going to bomb the place? The concept of bomb threat is so surreal to anyone who grew up in in uh, Ireland in the 80s. <laughs> that too. So you... Like, you like, yeah, like every every now and again, you know, in, in the 80s and 90s, you'd hear, Oh, by the way, the higher age blew some people up. The, the idea that, that they you know, send a bomb threat before blowing the person up. It's just, no. It completely defeats the point of bombing a place. If everyone yes. knows that you're going to bomb the place, they're, they're not, exactly. you know, you they're... Usually, you usually just go to school, open your lunchbox, and there's a bomb, and you mm -hmm. explode. Yeah. And then you, then you, you... Put it under the car, really. You know, yes. you start ignition, you know, spark the plugs, and boom. So yeah, um, so so related to that, so apparently, CalArts got a bomb threat. Oh, not a bomb threat, a shooting threat. Oh, okay. Well, the the point that it's basically the same thing because here you have someone basically announcing that they're gonna do a thing, which in and of itself kind of defeats the point of, uh, well, the whole thing. You're like, yeah, and oh. when Alex says announcing. It, he means a, a shitty Twitter joke that was deleted. Okay, so it, it wasn't even a legit threat. It was just someone... At least, that, at least that's what I heard. No, it, it was the classic I'm... 4 uh, It said, um, some of you guys are all right. Don't go to CalArts tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only get this if you knew 4 humor. But seeing how the people running CalArts are normies, they kind of didn't get it. To be perfectly fair, there have been instances where someone on Fortune said, "Don't go to go, don't go to place X," 
And the next day, well, there was actually a thing going on. But the thing is that it was, you know, for one thing, these things happen a lot on 4chan. So everyone just shrugs it off like, yeah, whatevs, edgelord. So, you know, you got all these announcements in a sea of announcements. So no one takes it fucking seriously, which kind of renders the whole thing like moot. See what I did there. Um, Moot is a fair guy. Well, yeah, that's very true. I mean, go ahead, Moot, ban me. Okay. Ban him from life. Well, uh, considering that I never post on 4chan, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's all, yeah. So, so in all fairness, it does happen. There are, you know, legitimate, legitimate threats on 4chan that are actually carried out. But yeah, the vast majority are just uh, edge lords, just uh, you know, doing the usual shit they do in 4chan. So me. So yeah, I guess that that passes off as news these days. Oh yeah, yes. Twitter updates. Oh yeah. Um, the mainstream media will all, were all over it. Uh, oh, Alex, look, have you seen a journalist in the past four years that took sources from somewhere else than Twitter or their own website? Uh, not really. Exactly. I mean, that's that's pretty much uh, the status quo. Also, there's like the the rush yeah, to the bot. Yes, it's, it's like, like uh, that they're, they're they're like, oh my god, I need to have this. I need to have an article before uh, my lunch break, or I'll get fired or something. Let's go to Donald Trump's Twitter. So, uh, Which, by the way, the courts in in America judged that Trump cannot block people from his personal Twitter. Okay, and and how did they argue that? Because you know, Twitter Twitter's a uh, private company. Apparently, it's a public forum. It it is, but if you're so... gonna make the president that uh, that you know, no, it's a no, public no, forum, it's, it's... and therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm right. it's your right to to be able to see Twitter's and tweets. And all, all the other things that. But, but here's be. here's the thing because uh, you know a lot of people. Okay, Alex, uh, I'm just trying to say if if they if they allowed Trump to ban people from his personal Twitter, then all the journalists would, would lose their jobs, and we don't want that, Alex. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the, here's the thing: we, we hear also, a lot. Also, that there's this one more thing: if it's ruled now that you know Twitter is a public domain and everybody has a right to talk there. I think Twitter should really start unbanning people. Yes, that, that was the point I was going to make. If they're going to make the case that it's a public forum, uh, and you know people shouldn't be silenced like that, then you know, then there's a lot of cases where people have been banned from Twitter. And now they can't do it anymore. It's illegal because if yeah. they banned someone from Twitter, now they can't talk to the president on his public forum. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. Uh, you know, Twitter, just, uh, you know, you and me, I'll, I'll say to you that, uh, you know, since this 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 whole thing transpired, um, you should probably ban people like Milo and Sargon and probably a uh, whole host of other people that have been banned from your platform, which is now apparently public forum. And you can't really use the excuse of, but we're public private company, we can't. You know, we, we we can block people, which is a perfectly reasonable explanation, but apparently now you're public forum. How do, yeah. you know? So, so yeah. G, 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 Twitter. G fucking G. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I probably tr uh, triggered someone at Twitter. I, I don't care. Funny you used the word GG because, well, maybe you noticed there was a thing on Steam that happened, and oh, probably yeah. somebody here wanted to talk about that. Well, I'm pretty sure you're one of them, and uh, Sekla, and back. Yes, yes, even. Uh, I, I was trying to imply that Sekla wanted to talk about it. Who knows where he went? Maybe he fell asleep. Mystery. But, so, uh, no, since. But... since uh, since we brought up, since we brought up, we, oh, the people, right. 
No. Well, yeah, we we are the people. That's true. Not not the people of the United States. Hmm. Any anyway anyway. So so apparently, a lot of people of the um, <clears throat> SJW persuasion are very upset at uh, Steam because Steam decided uh, not to do something. So it's not even something they did. It's something they're not doing. <laughs> or no, they at least decided it. not to do. See, you don't understand that. Oh, okay. Well, en enlighten me. So, Steam decided that they're not going to send the stuff. As long as it's legal, it's mm -hmm. possible. Like, what, what do you care? Why, 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 would, why would Steam try and curb your rights of expression? Or whatever, you know. Yes. Yes, you, you 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 might have controversial stuff, but hey, as long as it's not illegal, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and then there are some people, like you know, uh, certain esteemed, respected journalists, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Nathan Grayson. You remember Nathan Grayson? Very very respectable. Yes. <laughs> He's the most ethical person that ever existed. Um, yes. So. He said that he's very disappointed in Steam because Steam is trying to avoid responsibility. Mm -hmm. He didn't elaborate because, you know, I, I would really like to know what what does he think a responsibility is of a Steam. Like, why not? Well, also, is, then, is, then... is he trying to say that when you are a company that offers public space, is it your responsibility to ban everything that might be, I don't know, offensive to some sensibilities of certain people also, also, certain people and we mean any people also we just established that people can be bound banned from public forums so yeah uh but um the, the whole thing with steep also didn't they announce that they're going to introduce more tools to the um clientele of steam to uh to basically moderate what they want to see in their feed so to speak yes exactly yes. Oh my it's god! In the far future. So they introduced the game bug button graphics. So so they're they're actually allowing users to to decide for themselves yeah. what they want to see and what they don't well, want to see. That's just terrible. I think the best part was that somebody was complaining that uh, I forgot what I was saying. No. Okay. Let's move on. Well, what? So you're saying? <laughs> yes. So you're saying that Steam will basically allow everything under the sun with with no limitations whatsoever? And oh uh, yes, 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 I remember. Somebody was complaining that that this is going to. Wait, I need to type something. Yeah. Hot typing action. Yes. Well, somebody was complaining that this is, this is going to discourage people because it's going to create a toxic. Something toxic space, I guess. Toxic Some, uh... and to to toxic environment, and now now people that wants to want to make games about identity will be scared by all those evil races. I don't know. I don't know about you, but making games about identity that sounds kind of racist to me. That then um, you know you you can now if if you're into games about identity politics, you know you'll be able to set your filters. To only show you games that focus exclusively on identity politics, while the rest oh, of yeah, us can be like, yeah, no, thanks, but no thanks. But they want, but they want everyone to only be able to see games about about identity politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously. So that that's why I'm I'm happy with this decision, because it means I can just you know customize Steam to my personal wants, and everyone can have the Cake and eat it too. Isn't it great? No. Yes, but but you are a racist. Art. Oh yeah, obviously. But I'm still think it's great. I mean, I think this the the um, sensible journalist people should be thrilled about this. I mean, now they can create their own echo chamber, not just on Twitter but on Steam too. Yeah, that too. Yeah, they can, they can probably like make pre-designed filters that people can either download or share in some way. And they can be like, hey, you, you are a loyal reader of our 
online publication and you really like all our recommendations so just select these filters and you won't you won't have to see any icky gamergate games just the, the good the, the games that we approve <laughs> of. those icky good games <laughs> Yeah, so it's very easy. You just reverse the list and then you get the good games. <laughs> it's damn right. I, I I think somebody was complaining that uh, as it is, all, all those shitty games will be around now, and and Steam will let anything on. Well, isn't that just like the general green light process? As it yeah, these people works not anyway. been on Steam recently. Uh, it's, it's a oh, cesspit of shit already. Mm -hmm. I don't think they are very into games in general. Okay. Like, have you have, have you seen? Maybe you noticed there was this this game about this bearded guy who throws people around and stuff, and he has a son. <gasps> oh yeah, I, I heard that. I I, I think it, it's called uh, Dead of War. Some, no, something Dead like. of Boy. Yes, Boy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it came out and it's Kratos. He has a beard and he has a son. Well, he takes care of the son because children are terrible and they make everything worse. So he has to care of that. And the journalists discovered this game and are like, oh my God, God of War is so mature now. It's not only about killing anymore. Uh, completely ignoring that the previous Gods of War had also lots of children and family and extremely terrible moral choices. I mean, there was that one game where Kratos had to choose between his family and saving the reality. Because if he stayed with his family, his family would stop existing too. So his choice was either, you know, save the world and save his family on, on some spiritual level in the underworld, or stay with his family and, and, and let everything be erased and never save his family again. The reality or just one of the realities that are out the there? The reality. Okay, fair enough. It, 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 that, that was just kind of what Persephone was doing. She was like, I'm tired of being in Underworld forever. Let's just destroy the reality. Just just delete it. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Yes. You know, we, we, had, we, we, had, a, we had a good run, but, uh, but, but no. And obviously in the first game, you had like your family in the Underworld and the boss fight was more Kratos is because Kratos in the meantime turned from a, a guy who just wanted his revenge into a monster. So he had to fight against himself to save his family. That's uh, that's too deep seven me. Yes, it yeah. was very deep seven you. Unfortunately most of the journalists that are, you know, writing articles about this were like five at the time and their parents didn't allow them to play these games. So they don't know at what they are saying because they just don't know the old ones. And now, now they see it and they compare it with what they heard about God of War. They're like, oh, that was the guy with the, with the sword that he was killing people. And, and now, they, now they see that Kratos actually can have emotions. And like, oh my god, this is so mature. Mm -hmm. Well, they can't have that. I mean, Kratos is supposed to be this guy that just kills everything without a reason. Because he's Kratos. Yes, he's the yes. god of war and war is all about just killing things. I mean, come on. You should just be murdering people with no reason. We can't have any, any of these gay feelings in the game. Come on. But but yeah, from what I gather, it is it is a fine game. It's uh, it's it's not a fine game because it's unpleasant boxes artics. Apart from that, probably yes. I mean, but, I mean, from well, the, I, I, actually, it was actually, funded by Sony, you know. It's Actually, not, not really. It, it might not be a fine game after all because um, it, it stands too much on the shoulders of its previous releases. Well, yeah, that that that's that was kind of the point that uh, a bunch of YouTubers have made. It's like, uh, well, it, it's a fine game in the sense that uh, well, it plays well. Uh, it's it's not great, it, but it it's not terrible. Much. It's not terrible either. It's just sort of there. It, it yeah, I think and... one, one, of the, one of the criticisms in that regard was that, yes, it has Kratos, yeah. he, he punches and throws people around the landscape, mm -hmm. but not that much of a measure as it used to be, you know, because the, the, all the games tended to contrast his 
uh, more human side with how far he can go when he's trying to have his revenge, which oftentimes turned him into a complete irredeemable monster. And then he was like, oh my god, what have I become? And then he tried to reverse it a bit. In this game, he's more, let's say, at peace. So, yeah, sure. We know he's a badass and that he's, he's now caring for his son, so he's a retired badass. But we don't exactly know why we should be uh, respectful of him. Except for maybe his cradles and therefore respect.exe, I guess. No, I, I think that's what, what the journalists see it like. Yeah. He's this famous guy, I saw him in the TV. I have to hmm. ask a question though. If Would this game be successful at all if it wasn't God of War? That, that, that's my point exactly. And, like and if, you, if you just removed the uh, title character and named it Bob, Bob the Builder, Dad. <laughs> yes. Bob the Builder's a dad now. He's also incredibly buff and he kills people instead of building, I guess. Would people have bought it? That, that's. Bob the Builder, can we kill it? <laughs> yeah, you can. Have you seen Bob the Builder's machinery? Oh yes, he, he can definitely you kill a bunch of. Can sketch. Uh, no, but what what is it about? Is, is it Bob the Builder killing everyone? The mob, basically, the mob is trying to intimidate him, <laughs> and he's having none of it. Yeah, he has none of it, and his machine buddies kill them all. Look, look. It, it, if you if, if you know anything about reality, it's you do not piss off a guy who has a bulldozer in his shed. Especially would, if it... Oh, go ahead. It's not the first time someone has decided to up armor a bulldozer and then level half a town. Especially if it's a sentient bulldozer that can be instructed to do uh, um, complex uh, tasks. No, instead you don't of... want it to be sentient. Bad. But, but that's the thing is 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 bulldoze is sentient that's the whole point of bob the builder he's got sentient heavy equipment yeah, but actually... a sentient bulldozer can say no what anyway the, 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 the point i was trying to make is journalists are fucking retarded and they should play more games that's true well or any games at least you're you're, you're asking quite a bit there uh Severius. i know right yes but it, Look, they started talking about it and praising it to heavens and how mature it is. Because, you know... Next ne next thing you're... Games, games need to, to be more mature. They need to grow up after this. Come, come on, Zavirius. Next time you're going to suggest they actually have fun playing games. And ap apparently, <laughs> growing up, games growing up means that they put kids into it and you have to take care of it. Because uh, journalists are fucking children and for them, being adult equals having children no, 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 which no, no, no. is not the case fucking hell you can be adult without children no I, i'm gonna it's about you know you know what it's about Atrix and this actually is related to fucking tundra cans too hmm. it's about personal responsibility which is something that the old cartoon at least try to make a lesson of which the new one is just just blobs bouncing around this also i think the 2011 version kind of had the same thing oh, going yes, the, but the, uh, the animal version had that too yes but but yeah the new version seems to be all about uh them hacky hijinks uh i i'm still kind of on the fence on this whole ordeal because uh, like i said last time it, it's so obvious that they're just trying to make it uh, teen titans go I mean, you got, you got all these people getting upset, like, oh my god, they're, they're going to ruin Thundercats. I'm like... There is some guy on the internet who actually claims that, uh, that this cartoon is the reason why he got fired and why his wife left him. <laughs> yeah. yeah um... <laughs> Again, with the personal responsibility. That's so really like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. People who hate it. Look, look, it's it's fine. It's fine if you don't like it, but don't let it control your life like that. For fuck's sake. Seriously. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure a cartoon shouldn't have that kind of impact on your life. Nope. That's a bit much now, Ted. Well, uh, I think something like that can be said about uh, about My Little Pony. Maybe. Why do you have a little pony, Alex? Well, I got I got to love them. They're they're collecting dust in a like uh, <laughs> like I just I just dumped. I can I can show it on the fucking camp. I got like this entire tub full of pony. Look uh, at it's, it. It's, it's some private. It's some just privatizing ponies. Please. It's it's just pony sitting in a vase that's designed to hold flowers, but instead it's just <laughs> ponies. They're just collecting dust. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do with these because um, you know once once my uh, little uh, niece, I believe, is is old enough to have toys. I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Here, here, have, have this have, vase. Have this vase full of ponies. Just, just take them. I don't need them. <laughs> also, something about uh, you know getting them from the United States. That's that's a nice little thing. And she, she no, probably it's, wouldn't. It's, it's, it's the infamous McDonald's ponies. Also, she probably wouldn't give a shit because for one thing, she'd be like three years old or something like that is she like yay ponies and wow and, and, wow wow three years old they're like more like yay colors yes yay pretty colors and i'm like finally these got them ponies and found their their predestined uh well purpose yes. they were actually designed to be played with by little girls not to be hoarded in in a vase by <laughs> some cartoonist that Got them for lols, because the um, the circumstances in, uh, under which I got them were kind of hilarious. It was like this guy went up to me and was like, "I'm gonna commission you to draw this, and my payment is going to be McDonald's ponies. I'm gonna <laughs> ship them all the way over from the United States." And I thought it was hilarious. So it was like, a long yes. way to ship something. Yes, he took a really big shit, and it was so powerful that it made it all. It made it all the way to the to Netherlands. And then the customs were like, what the fuck is this? Why are these ponies covered in shit? And I'm like, oh yeah, that that's uh, that, that's mine. But, uh, you know, mind cleaning these first for me? Thanks. And they hated me ever since. And that's why I can never order something from the United States again. Because the guys over there are like, no, we're we're not we're not gonna clean all that shit again, never again. Anyway, do we have another topic that we can bring yes, up? Because yes, that is, that's a very big problem, Artix, lately. <gasps> How big? Uh, continent big. Oh, that, that's spanning. That that's pretty big. I mean, even even if you just take Australia, that's a pretty big continent. So yeah, that's a pretty it's, big uh, problem. It's it, it's called the EU. Oh, but the EU isn't the continent, it's just the EU. But it's a, it's a continent spanning problem, Artrix. Oh yeah, that's very true. So what what about the EU? What, what, what did are... they do this week? Well, wow. <laughs> there's a proposition for a copyright law. That's very true, yes. And this copyright law, it, it, it's, it's more severe form, should extend the copyright on fucking links. Yep, they're, they're actually you know considering copywriting links so it and they are doing it in a typical european union fashion which means absolutely bonker retarded mm -hmm. hang on uh, wait i i read this article 13 that people seem to be think is copywriting links it, there was no mention of any such thing in the entire article and and i i looked however you might have noticed a mention about intellectual property no didn't. Okay, so so Penboy, in your expert opinion, yes. as an expert, <laughs> we read it. You are an expert now. Yes, you are an expert. You read it. What does Article Thirteen actually entail, and should we be should we be scared of it? Should we hate it? Uh, it said um, something like states will be responsible for enforcing copyright law. Isn't that already the case? But the show that's GDPR. You probably read the wrong article. Article 13 is the one everyone was going on about. 
I mean, that's pretty much already the case. You got sovereign nations that all have copyright law in one way or another. It's not that it complicated. Was, to be honest, I just read like the DMCA. It was like, okay, if you find that a company is violating the copyright on this, uh, ask them to take it down. Right. Well, th does, doesn't, you know, any country in Europe or the EU have like the equivalent to the DMY, DCMY, LRX, DMCA? Uh, DMCA is an, an it's like is an it international American? agreement. So, oh, it is? Oh. Yeah, so it, it already basically covers. So why do we even need the EU to step in and do this? If we already have the DCM, DQRL. Oh yeah. The EU said they were doing this. Uh, the purpose for the new copyright law was so that all the countries in the EU would have the same copyright law. Right. But but yeah, the the, the way you can actually you know it, it's a, it's a good demonstration of how great the the the, the democratic process of the, of the EU works because it's like this this proposed law just pops up into existence like weeks if not days before it is voted in oh, and, yeah, uh, and that, that is a huge problem yes and the only <laughs> thing citizens can do is basically just beg their uh, representatives <laughs> in the uh, parliament to please vote against it so this is this law is just conjured into existence by the commission behind closed doors probably yeah and, 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 and you know that somebody somewhere in the amazingly huge chain of bureaucracy that EU and states are is gonna fuck it up who we'll get GDPR GDPR is essentially a, a stop is rather wishfully designed to stop giant companies from trading data hmm. it's not going to stop giant companies trading data they are they are, they are giant companies for a reason they can find a workaround but then you have a state that's going to implement it, but like, oh, EU is so great. We are going to make it even better than EU did. And then, then you have then you have to apply it to small companies too. And it just like, now, 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 you, now you have all these training sessions that are very expensive. And lots of people make lots of money from just reading basically what's on the website. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the advice they give are is sometimes uh, against what the law says. Even I, I actually encountered such a such an incident when one one of the lecture people was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah just just print these papers out and, and delete it because you can't have it for more than I don't know what it was three years, maybe two years." And and the lady is like, "But from the law, we need to have this for twenty years." I just thought I I told myself that uh, all all the hyper hyperbole going around about Article Thirteen was so absurd I had to go read it for myself. And while I read the document, it was annoying. Didn't make much sense. Well, yes. Not not to me because it's legal jargon. But it wasn't even that. It, it was it was a paragraph long. It was like fifty words. And. Uh, I was I was trying to find this part where everyone was saying that you know links would be taxed and copy subject to copyright claims. I was like, there's, there's nothing about links. This doesn't even mention links. And did did you have people saying, oh no, this means that governments are going to program copyright enforcement robots to delete everything from the internet? It's like okay, well. Good luck with that. Could do that, but the law doesn't say that they have to. Also, also good luck actually in implementing that. With without... you need to remove this from the internet. Actually, I had I had a, a nicer interpretation that's a bit closer to what might happen. Is that if if something that's published in a official media becomes an intellectual property of that media, right? Mm -hmm. But that kind of makes sense. And media is known for creating their original content. <laughs> Basically, it can happen that 
<laughs> your stuff is stolen from you just because somebody has an official capacity to publish stuff while you are just creating shit. But but yeah, one of oh, my yeah. one of my favorite websites actually not, just not uh, to mention about memes. I saw an article crying about how, how memes might be destroyed because of this. <gasps> well, here's the thing: here's memes. The, memes are already against copyright law. Mm -hmm. It's like if someone files a DMCA against your Pepe meme, <laughs> they have to take it down. That's the okay, law. Yes, That's the, the, the law. Have have it enough to try and file a DMCA against fucking public domain and fair use. Mm -hmm. Well, fair use is one thing. Public domain. I don't think Pepe is public domain. It's very. Well, it's owned by what's his face. Yeah, that that guy. We, we... Well, the memes are. That's the fair use. The, yeah, well, no, it... they're not fair use. If you take someone's copyrighted image and you just slap a meme on top of it, that doesn't make it different. But no, it Although can actually, it, it can that, be construed that, 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 as a commentary. But, but Pepe's on the internet these days are not the original image. That's transformative parody. It's it's par it could, it could be construed say, actually, as parody. Me, there was a guy years ago who published or made canvas pet prints of people's Twitter <laughs> posts, stole as a euro. And when someone said to them, "Did you have permission to take those pictures?" And yeah, they but a license for that, mate. And he's like, "No." I was like, "Well, you're just like stealing other people's copyright material, printing it out, and selling it for millions." It's like it's fair use. That's okay, fair. that's not fair use. The moment you sell it, it's not fair use. Hmm? That's not fair use at all. But you go away with it. Well, there there are some instances where you can where you're actually allowed to sell, um, like works under fair use. But uh, here's the I thing: did get away with it because he was a rich guy and hmm. he probably had lawyers. Yes. So they can probably like, oh yeah, but you see it's Twitter, so uh, uh, by agreeing to the terms of service of Twitter, you forfeit it, fit, 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 whatever, all, all your data, and uh, they are now public domain. It's, you know, see, see, see that you agree to their terms of service when you not read them and just clicked yes because you just want to get on with it, and uh, yeah, but you agree to it. So... Uh, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? But see, that would only work if he if he ran Twitter. Mm -hmm. The guy stealing the art, I mean. Yes. But the uh, matter is, he he wasn't. No, he he just took someone's tweet and and yeah. Then then again, um, yeah. Technically, the tweet is the intellectual property of whoever wrote it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just actually the copyright whoever wrote it the minute you commit anything to pay for you own the copyright off. yes the moment you create something i mean yeah you can't copyright an idea uh, it has to be put on a physical or tangible medium like paper or a twitter the post second, the second other people can pursue your idea yes the copyright so uh, the moment anyone else can perceive the copyright material, uh, it is your copyright. Indeed. So, for instance, if if I I create a new layer and and I let's see, I'll, I'll create a new character. It's a very beautiful character. It's 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 it's, it's got like. A square tongue and he's got a very tall hat uh, and it's got a skull on the hat and he's very slender but he's not slender man let's, let's be clear about that he's got a bow tie and he's got noodle arms because that's all the rage right about now and he has a backpack with with, with a rocket Uh, and it's got a nuclear sign on it because it's a nuclear rocket. Hey, right. You stole my thing. <laughs> well, there you go. I just created an original character. Do not steal. <laughs> no, no. The, the nuclear sign is copyright me. I put nuclear signs on everything. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll add a band to it so it's slightly different. There you go. Well, no. Now it's a completely different thing. 
uh, also it's got an antenna on it there you go so yeah original idea do not steal but yeah technically i now own copyright on this thing <laughs> and i'm i'm legally speaking the only person allowed to reproduce it but 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 i won't you you, you can keep it bad but boy, it's fine you can make all the money off of it He's gonna sue you in five years. Yeah, you should you should now make like a, a very detailed 3D model of this character and basically make the next uh, Transformers movie or whatever. But but better because it doesn't have Transformers in it. <laughs> anyway, we're about an hour in. So uh, we, sh we should probably bring up a new topic. Huh. And any suggestions? Because I, I don't think there's much... Oh, well, there's one thing Unfor I want to... Unfortunately, I think I only have an old topic. Okay, but uh, before we get into that, I'll f finish up on the whole Article 13 thing. Because as, as kind of an experiment, you know, one of my favorite websites is like, yeah, this these guys are, are trying to do the whole Article 13 thing, and I am just want to troll the EU. So I'm like, uh, I go to this website, me? and you can like... S send an email to all your representatives in the eu and uh, unsurprisingly they're all lefty parties to a certain degree there's nobody to represent us yes. yes nobody tall enough no one tall enough so uh, but i'm like uh yeah just copy pasta this uh the standard letter and uh, send it over so all these people just got an email saying yeah uh vote against this law uh it's probably not gonna do jack shit, but <laughs> and email literally saying just vote against this law yeah just no it doesn't even say that it's just an email like just nothing it doesn't even it, specify what law yeah it just says what, what the, on, the, the only word in the entire email is just the word don't <laughs> <laughs> and and then and then a link to that picture that Sean had drew of the uh confederate flag or whatever it was or the tea party flag but just have to ask the word don't on it with like a line that's supposed to replicate represent a snack no, that, 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 that sounds like something she would do that sounds very i i think she made it like at four in the morning and then sent it over to uh to a website so you can everything actually, she does is see see she can you can actually go to that website and purchase that 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 flag you can go to the site and buy a flag that has a really shitty painted don't with a line on it yes and yes you should this is capitalism matrix you got a problem with that no it's great i love it <laughs> we can draw our don't snacks as, as, as much as we want just like the french girls just talking just... about about the french girls and old topics i i, I feel like these two converge on what i want to talk well, about french french girls are loosely uh, relevant to my interests i i mean uh, uh, this is very loose I, I mean when i was in france we, we did see some really cute girls there but they were french so you know you can't really strike up a conversation other than oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, baguette uh baguette oh ho oh, oh, ho baguette you can, just, you can just do the gesture where you like make your thumb and your in index finger in a ring and then you use the other index finger and put it through the created ring. Yes. Well saying baguette. <laughs> like, yes. Baguette, croissant. Hon, uh, hon, hon. Le beurre. Hon I want to feel your croissant. Ooh, that's don't, pretty. Don't, don't forget the classical bon douche. Anyway, something about uh, French oh. and girls in no in that in no specific order. What we go? Uh, Severus. Yes. I'm waiting for you. We're going to share no. some amazing insight. Okay. Okay. Off topic. Off topic in French. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you you probably remember this person with vaguely French name. Okay, sure. 
vaguely French name. Yes, yes. Chelsea Van Vanken. Yes, that was German. That was my best impression of German. Okay. Anyway, she calls herself Quinn. Zoe Quinn. You might have heard about her. She did uh, porn. Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, she also sparked this, this campaign of hate and harassment, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on. Well, uh, turns out she, she's doing comics now. <laughs> because DC decided that, that they want to self-destruct, apparently. And, yeah. It's only Vertigo. It's only it is. It, it is quote unquote only vertigo which they resurrected with a great fanfare. It's like yes, yes, the, the adult comics are back, except every uh, everything that that's in them is just about being Mexican and being a woman. Okay. So so, yeah. so how long is gonna be oh, before God. we get a comic in which uh, uh, Zoe, I mean the the heroine is fighting off the horrible uh, gaming, I mean, Nazis. It's actually literally about her, if I remember correctly. You know, this this should be, this should be a gateway to some comedy goal. You know, in, in a few months time, we're gonna see some hilariously badly written. I mean, is he actually drawing the comics or is he just writing them? Writing. Ah, uh, I want to see her draw. All right, but that would imply that she'd need actual talent. Ah, oh, never mind then. I mean, if if her if her games are any indication, it's gonna be great. I strongly, I strongly suggest just ignore it. Of course. Comics already, comics already don't sell as well as they used to. Seeing how this is you know, not cake shit, and under just the Vertigo line, not the main DC line, there's a fair chance it's um. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I, I'm not expecting, that's a weird thing, because uh, this may not be related to DC Comics, but uh, when, when you look like at, at something like uh, Marvel, uh, apparently their movies are doing really well. I mean, everyone can't shut the fuck up about uh, about Marvel movies, but when it comes to the comics, you know, the source material, um, well, especially the new ones, yeah, no one fucking buys them anymore. They Except, are full of SJW garbage. Yes. And more importantly, they're not fun to read. Everyone's yeah. like, this is like a total bore fest. Why would I buy this? As I said, at least DC had the decency it's mm -hmm. self-contained. Like, you know, here you have this Vertigo imprint, you write your own little comic back there and don't touch our stuff. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's um, so, so what I get from this is that well, DC... It's, it's, it's still real regular DC and they are, you know, wondering why the hell is Marvel outselling it? Because from what I gather, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, DC is basically just doing what it's always been doing. It's like, yeah, we're just we just make comics, you know. We we just uh, you know take our franchises and we continue the stories like like usual. And apparently now they're like, okay, and I guess we'll also throw in some SCW comics because people want that, and they just you know have them on the side. They're like, okay. Twitter claim they want it. Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are watching the competition, if they think that people want that. No, but then again, what do they have to lose? I mean, apparently the, they, the, the comics sell. People are, okay. are uh, buying uh, them. So... I, 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 at the exam, I'm going to tell you a synopsis of some of these comics. There's one. They uh -huh. have some random people. Uh -huh. that, that there's a white person and a white person that's also a vagina bearer. And there's a brown person, an even more browner person. And okay, before you continue, I notice a lot of descriptors that say absolutely nothing about the characters, but go on. And then there's a rift opening to uh, the 
realm of the spirits. Okay, that, that's the only that's so far that's the only thing that's relevant to the plot, but go on. And it's on the Mexican Me Mexican USA border. Okay, so we and got a location. And obviously when, when strange things start happening. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Inhabitants of the village play it on the Mexican. <laughs> right. That, and, and and when is it gonna get good? Or, or is that it? That's it. That's, that's oh. the premise. It's it's very exciting actually. So the premise is that that something happens and people blame it on Mexico. Yes. Uh, that doesn't sound very fun. It sounds you, really you, boring. You, you, you just can't appreciate the visceral conflict. So the conflict in the comic is that people are blaming it on on Mexico. Yes, and. Uh, I, I guess it's up to the heroes to disprove that. Co co convince the people that it was not the Mexican. Well, to be fair, to be fair, that actually it, it was sounds... the supernatural Mexicans ethics. It, act, it to be fair, it sounds like an actual plot of a story. Uh, yes. It's not. Oh, a, that's, it's... Not, that's not the one by Zoe Quinn. No, but it, it sounds like it's gonna. I mean, for a moment, I I thought it was going to be something akin to. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing happens, but we're going to blame, um, you know, all the mean white people. No, but the, no, the, it's the comics that's that's by 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 Chelsea van Falkenburg is Falkenburg Falkenburg. That's uh, a nice name. I if, think if it it, it's, ac it's actually Dutch name, as far as I know, because it has it, a, it, it has a burg in it, and, uh, and Falken, I mean, that must be German ethics. It's uh, I think it's pronounced uh, Valkenburg. <sighs> yeah. It's very important that you put the in there because otherwise it wouldn't be Dutch. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, that's actually great because now I can say, uh, Zoe, uh, I'm part of your heritage. So, uh, and, and I support gaming gates. So how does it make you feel? You should, you should now be hating yourself since, uh, you know, identity politics and yeah, you're one, one of us. So, so yeah, checkmate atheists. Anywho, so yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna see how where this, this comic is gonna go, but it's probably gonna be completely unremarkable and uh, I'm not, not expecting much from it. New topic, do we have one more? I need topics. Uh, well, I, I, I wanted to explain what she wrote about. Okay, so go ahead. What did she wrote wrote about? She wrote about future. Not well, the future. The future. So so what so what about it? Well, in the future, mm -hmm. the man mankind is cared for by by AIs. Okay. And they obviously take care of every aspect of human life because this sort of people just wants to be cuddled and. And, and told by something or someone what they should or should not do, but let's, let's leave that out. And one, uh, I, I don't know if one like in total or, or one as in she's a very special person. One woman is tasked by doing IT support for this. See, see, see what Chelsea did there, Artex? IT support. She, she knows the computers. Yes. She, she is very cool. She, she's a hippie. She knows the computers on a deep personal level. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. And and, 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 and and this woman, this downtrodden woman that has to do tech support for the gods, founds a, finds rather, and not founds, finds a conspiracy that aims to go against the AIs and probably free people, I don't know. And, and it's, it's all women and they are very empowered. Mm -hmm. Because obviously it takes a woman to understand the uh, complexities of uh, an artificial intelligence. I mean, we, we all know that the tel uh, artificial intelligence are very uh, emotional and fragile and they need the feminine touch. I, I mean, if, if I were to talk to, uh, to, to a uh, AI, it would just completely crash because it's like, oh my god, I, I can't deal with this. So triggered. Modern AI is incomprehensibly stupid. It is. 
But we're talking about this 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 universe in which supposedly the AI is very intelligent. I mean, it's probably too intelligent seven you. Except that the intelligence would just tell you that you're wrong. It's not seven you, but it's four you spelled out. You scrub. Indeed. But yeah, it sounds like a very, uh, very exciting story. So is there anything more to it? Or is that it? He's just gonna talk to the AI. Like, uh, like a psych, psych, psyche person. Wait a minute. Is he, is he gonna be like, um, what, what's his face from uh, Captain Planet? His, his power was heart. Uh, yeah, that. He just walks up, he's like, I'm gonna use the power of heart. And everyone's like, what the fuck does it do? And he just, you know, shrugs like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> what he was, though, um, his power was to basically brainwash anyone. <laughs> it was horrifying if you thought about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your own free will and everything, and then this guy comes along and he's just, just you know, he just uses his ring and it just takes all your agency away from you. You're like, hmm, I could go for a nice, big... Me was he a feminist, that? Oh, fucking course he was a feminist. That makes mean, sense. No, oh, no, hold on. To be fair, this was the 90s. Okay. And, and, and it, you know, it wasn't as... Uh, you know, uh, there was even an episode of Power of Girls that pretty much went something okay, like I, this. I, I maybe, maybe the better question was, was he an intersectional feminist? Uh, I, I, they, they are the ones that like to take people's agency away. No, no, no. This, I, I don't even think anyone in 90... If we told anyone in the 90s that intersectional feminism exists, they, they, they'd look at you like... You what? Uh, uh, how does it relate to Space Jam and Bugs Bunny? Also, I where's really my... I didn't like feminism. It was very strange how much that's changed. It, it was very... You know, it was out there. And everyone's... You know, it was kind of there. You know, people were like... Uh, feminism. It exists. Yeah, it exists. Yeah, but it's like... I mean, people... The media was much more aggressively against hardcore feminism than it is now. Yeah, like, uh, uh, there, there was episodes of King of the Hill where they showed off terrible feminists as well as The Simpsons and the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, I was gonna bring up that episode from the Powerpuff Girls where initially it seemed because like it was... Then, that is because since then feminists have completely taken over the West. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that's really true. Mm -hmm. but I, that... think, I think the media just likes to pretend it is, make very loud points about it. The media likes what gives clicks, not what gives news. Well, a, 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 a friend of mine was at the uh, Dutch equivalent of the BBC not too long ago, and uh, he basically the, B the, the, the BB. <laughs> yes, except we call the NOS. But um, so so he went there, and he basically described just about every dude walking around there, which is of course very problematic because they're dudes. But you know. I guess someone. But, uh, uh, Alex, Alex, did he identify them? Well, well, yes, but he's allowed to, you see, because he's transgender. No, he's not. He, he's breaking the GDPR. He's, he has to get a fine now. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll call him up and say that he's being fined now, and. Uh, yes. Uh, and and and, and, and then, but with, with the EU. Uh, but and it's a good thing I don't live in uh, in in Canada because uh, I I'd be thrown in jail for not addressing her by her preferred pronoun so uh, because oh, you're, you're, be, you're, 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 you're gonna be thrown into jail for knowing the information about this people be, be because he these days goes by the name of she so uh, so anyway she described everyone walking yeah. around there that is that that biologically identifies as a man as a hipster um yes so it's no no wonder you know the kind of uh, things they they, they but, show but on Alex, the television. Alex, um, yes. Alex, the question that arises is, 
Are they hipsters or are they just retarded people that like to go with the current fashion? That that's that's something I always wonder whenever I see a hipster. When when I see someone you know dressed like that, I wonder, are they legitimate? Do you smell on purpose? <laughs> that and I'm like, okay, so is this guy? completely on board with all this intersectional nonsense or is it just a fashion statement that's just you know they just going along with it because it's cool at the moment uh i i'd, I'd like to think it's probably 50 50. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like did you do that man bunny yourself or, or is somebody holding your family hostage i i hate i i can't stand that i i can't stand to look at a guy that is a man bun like what seriously what the fuck and don't, don't, don't forget don't forget the shaved sides of the head oh that, yeah that, that too that goes very well with a man bun shaved you know shaved sides man bun well at least i can kind of respect the beard if it's done right but a lot of the time it just looks uh fruity it's like yeah, you're you're not rocking you're not rocking that beard. Not not the way you're doing it. Not only you are not working that beard, you are not working. Look, look. When I don't shave for a few days, it looks you know it looks rugged and rough. I I, I bet when when they do it, it's just, it, well, it's just it's just a five o'clock shadow. There's nothing no, to no, it. No, no, Alex, you need to get yourself a lady, and she has to report on your beard. Oh, all okay, right, I'll I'll do it right away. Okay, doing it. Maybe nah. those people think the same about their beards. Yeah, but but, that, they, but they, that, that's they, the thing. They probably do, but they're still wrong. Or at least they don't. They don't even have ladies most of the time. Hmm. That that's true. I mean, some of them do, but but then again, they usually go perfectly along with them. So it's it's, it's a perfect set. It's like. Uh, yeah, that that, that lady like friend. Dinner, right? Well, uh, act, actually, there's not. It's so, so you got the you got you got the hipster racists, and and the girls that go with them. I can't really describe the girls. They all kind of look normal, I guess. Except the ones that have tattoos everywhere and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In ears. I, and, I mean, like I'm, like I saw the shrapnel all over the face. Oh yeah, that that that's a good indication. But they're usually not really on board with that whole yeah, intersection. Then, then again, Dankula looks like that. Who looks like that? Dankula. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't, he, think, he, he, I don't, I don't think he's a girl. But uh, he's he's rocking a very different look, anyways. He's. Uh... Do you think he has a license for that look? Oh, oi, oi, mate! You got license. You got license for that, mate. And then Klaus like fuck off, and uh, then does something incredibly Scottish, like uh, I don't know what the, what's the typical thing Scottish do? Uh, eat haggis. Go to jail for uh, training pods. Oh yeah, that's also a very uh, Scottish thing now. And then he, then he went out of the jail and, and was like, I need to to pay eight hundred brick bongs. To... Give me eight hundred brick bongs, brick bongs, and I'm going to give them to a charity. And the rest of the plan was like, yeah, sure, here. And then, then everybody gave him 800 big bones. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So, uh, so yeah, that that happened. Uh, also, any update on this whole shebang, or is it still? No, it's the UK justice system. We won't hear about yeah. that for another year. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Speaking Look, of the UK ethics, ethics. Lady Justice is blind, which means that she's moving at a very slow pace, touching the walls and figuring out where the hell she is. That's actually a very apt description of <laughs> the justice system. I mean, the same happened to the time someone stole my uh, life hammer. I mean, okay, in reality, this is what happened. Some du some dude was just sort of waltzing around the street, and he saw my car, and he's like, Oh, that looks like a nice life hammer. I'll just take it, because I'm a lazy fuck. So it's like, I'm just gonna go and break this window and this life ember is now mine and i'm going to steal all the stuff from all the cars oh my god there's a police officer i'm fucked and then the police officer is like oh guy um so he took your life ember right and it's like i was like yes 
And he was like, it was the orange one. I said, yes. Oh yeah, like, we found your life hammer. But now you have to wait like uh, a month before you can have it back. Because we're going to have to do this, uh, you know, investigation. And there's going to be trial and all this crap. And So what you're saying is your car was absolutely empty except for the life hammer. Yes, he took everything except the life hammer. Not, no, no. He took only the life hammer because there was nothing else, like not even not even the stereo. The life hammer was instead of the radio. Um, well, that that's that's the interesting thing in the sense that, uh, no, back then I had like a car with a DIN radio in it, so uh, I I took actually took the effort of removing the front cover. So if he acts. He actually wanted to steal something. Um, he, he, you know, the radio would be useless because he doesn't have the front cover. But um, he could have actually taken it since I just put the front cover in the car itself because the, the radio itself was worth like a hundred quid. I was like, oh, I'm too lazy to, uh, you know, get that worked up over one hundred euro radio. Imagine he steals a radio and then he has to break into another car to get the front cover. Also, there were actually valuable things in that car that were worth a lot more than the life hammer that he just like ignored. A, a pack of cheese? No, it, I think there was like uh, uh, some SD cards in there and the radio was in there and uh, I don't know, some other stuff that might have actually been worth something. But he decided to just ignore all of that and just take the life hammer. Well, that's because the life hammer is useful for breaking into their cars. Well, that that was probably his entire train of thought. Yes, and he was probably a normie thief and didn't didn't know. What he, 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 for. he he was definitely screwed because he got arrested. He got caught. So yeah, that too. yeah. Uh, I, sh I actually should have just. Uh, I, I think I was able just, to uh, leave him. Uh, Arvix comes up to identify the the suspect. I, and, I, and and all he says is like. You should be sorry that you got caught. Uh, I I could have actually attended the court uh, the, the the hearing. I decided not to because I was just giving attention. Uh, but uh, I could have gone there and just said, uh, "Get good scrub." <laughs> this Alex ca comes in comes into the court and very loudly says, "Do you know where the guy who broke into my car is?" <laughs> I want to I want to tell him something. Look, if you're gonna break into a car, don't get caught. Get good scrub, and then just leave. Oh, by the way, you owe me like a hundred quid in damages, which which he he spent like a year paying that back. It is a very com it's a very convoluted system where the government takes his money and then they give me the money. So they're like, this month you're getting five euros. From this guy that stole stole your life hammer a year ago, like Wait, oh, they're actually paid. You're getting paid back for that. Yes. Um, oh God, you actually have a criminal justice system that re reimburses the people who are victims. Well, you might die in the meantime, but it's trying. Yeah, he, he might have died it in the meantime, but. Uh, um, I, I had to fill out this form. There was a lot of paperwork involved. I mean, the, the time I spent on paperwork was probably worth more than the actual damages that I got back for it. But uh, well, well, what else? something. Yes, because I had to fill in this form and I had to specify all the costs that that I incurred due to this uh, this this fact. So uh, we, I was we like, the police were like, oh, yeah, well, you're uh, fucked. Do you mm -hmm. have insurance? Well, insurance did cover some of it, uh, so I was only uh, eligible to uh, to claim costs that were not covered, like uh, some of the costs of the uh, new window were not covered, I believe, and there was also the costs of getting to and from the impound and the um, um, repair shop and uh, that sort of thing. So that all tallied up to about 100. Oh yeah, I think it was 75 quid for the window and... Uh, and the rest was just assorted costs that I incurred because, uh, well, he, he broke my car. So, uh, but yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a funny situation in, in some odd, odd way. Uh, but yeah, it really reinforces the notion that uh, Lady Justice is rather slow. And she's just <laughs> kind of, in this case, she's like, uh, 
Okay. Don't ever do that again, mister. Now pay him back. Uh, and it's but... because she's as blind as a mole. Uh... Yes. So, so it's just like, uh, uh, so, so I'll make you pay him back uh, after I find my way to, uh, to, to, uh, to my purse or whatever. Also, apparently some European sort of MEP says that, well, he admitted that the extra copyright for new sites was maybe not the best idea. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, look, he's from Germany. Oh, yeah. They, they, are, they are in a different place when it comes to copyright. Hmm? Also, I, I, I like how EU calls it the digital single market. I mean, if that doesn't raise a few warning flags, I don't know what does. <laughs> also, I just remembered, since we kept bringing up the whole Oi Mega license for that May uh, meme, uh, the, the thing that spawned it was actually a... Uh, I don't think it was a decision, it was just a suggestion by uh, a British politician, which basically Please. goes, which basically goes something like this. People, you know, have recently been doing a lot of stabbings in the UK. Uh, stabbings, uh, in order to stab something, you need some sharp object. So, ergo, we're going to ban all... Like a toothpick. Yeah. Or a potato peeler, Alex. Those yeah. are the worst. Like potato peelers, those are basically weapons of mass destruction. So, so basically, you wouldn't be able to just go to the store and buy basic kitchen gear, or you can only get it at like a licensed shop where you go th through six thousand layers of uh, screening, and then maybe just maybe you you can have a a, a potato uh, peeler. Yes, well, obviously, I think the issue are not the knives. It's that somebody might use the knives for not intended purpose. And as as the judge said, for the proving that Britain's judges are all absolutely senile. <laughs> was the judge that said this? Yes, it, it was a retiring judge. I mean, it was the judge that made the su suggestion to basically ban all basic kitchen knives yes because they are sharp and, and when was the last time Artex in the kitchen that you needed a sharp point on a knife i don't know about you but for me it was like yesterday hmm. oh yeah i i frequently use knives for um food related uh, purposes sometimes to cut myself but mostly to cut food well in my case there was an asian man in my kitchen i wanted him to leave oh uh, why was there asian <laughs> men why was there an Asian man in your kitchen? It was bringing peace, Alex. Anyway, oh, okay. so I, I just like how, how Britain's judges seem to be completely senile and, and useless. <laughs> From the Dankula's case to, to this guy who, who suggested that no normal person would need a sharp point on a knife, so they all should be filed down. You know, to just, just imagine those, those draws of Britons going in the morning to, to, to the, I don't know what they are, like, like a also, square, but that is a government, government official, and they are firing down that. But, so uh, pointy. The edge apparently doesn't matter, the edge is not dangerous because there's less slashing attacks than stabbing attacks, and they are not, uh, the, the victims, or rather the injuries, are not as serious as with stabbing attacks. So you can get slashed at it, it's okay. That's okay. That's allowed. The um, the entrepreneurial spirit in me gets an idea, though, because if the UK is actually going along with this and they're actually ending up bending all the knives, hmm, that means I can probably uh, you know open a little business. Like, uh, hmm, you can't get any knives in the UK. Well, uh, you know, have a nice trip to Holland. You have uh, you know, visit uh, Amsterdam, go to the coffee shops, buy yourself a knife, and uh, oh yeah, and, and visit and see the tulips and shit. Also, the knives are really good. Like this one's really good for cutting meat, uh, which is much better than the the government approved approved knives that you can probably only get, uh, you know, at very specific times. You should you should probably get this one instead. It's much better. 
I mean, uh, the, essentially the same thing happens in uh, Sweden, where Swedes apparently uh, like just going to Germany just to get booze. They're like, uh, I am from Sweden. Uh, and I, I think that's just a characteristic of Swedes, because Prague has problem with, with Swedish tourists going there just to get booze and get shit-faced. Oh, it's so much cheap. Sweden, like Ireland, is alcohol tax, and it's massive. Uh, yeah, I think something similar is going on in uh, Norway, where, for instance, uh, one of our Norwegian guys was like, uh, yeah, um, if, if I want to have like a 12 pack of beer, uh, they pay like 30 euros, whereas I can buy a crate of 12 beers for like a tenner when it's on discount. And if it's not on discount, it's still like health price. That's still a tax, actually. And it's also text, so um, I mean there and there is tax. You can buy your text for less. Yeah, but Artrix, ten euro for a crate of beer is expensive compared to how much it is in places like Prague. Yes, I mean it's I mean, it's even it's even expensive compared to Germany. I mean in Germany you can get a crate for probably less than a tenner if you are not too picky. So uh, yeah. I mean, Netherlands is relatively expensive when it comes to beer, but not to the point of the Scandinavian countries where you basically have to get a second mortgage to, uh, you know, be able to to taste the sweet nectar of uh, that is uh, alcoholic beverages. Or Sweden, where uh, it's uh, from what I gather, it's it's like only the government can sell uh, alcohol, so they have like government-owned stores. Where, and those are the only places where you can buy alcohol. You can just you can just it sounds like an awful place to live. You, you you can't just you can't just go to the supermarket and be like, okay, let's see, let's get some cheese, some bread, some eggs, create of beer. Wow, well, uh, no, no, you can't wine. because you have to navigate to six no-go zones on the way to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but that that almost goes without saying. Well, unless of course you you live in uh, in the nice areas where you know all, all all the nice wealthy people live, that that are probably in favor of all of this. Like, oh yeah, I'm. Know there's, there's no such thing as a no go zone in Sweden. There's no. The media no... keeps playing it. <laughs> no problem at all. Like more. Uh, after all. All the problems caused were by you know Swedish citizens. Right? Mm -hmm. well, I guess technically they are Swedish. I mean, they have Swedish nationality, maybe. Anywho, um, anything to add to this, or are we going to open up one more topic before we end? Well, actually, we have about ten minutes left. Uh, or did we pretty much bring up everything that was to be brought up? Because I kind of think we did. Oh, okay. okay. Very quickly that they announced a new Adam Family movie and it's going to be animated. Okay, for a moment, uh, when I when you first mentioned it, I thought it was going to be an animated, like a TV series. But uh, the movie is actually better because from what I've seen... It's one it looks, off. It's one off, but it looks also looks really good. Like, uh, it, it's almost like it's a CGI movie, but it's got actual art direction. And it's doing <laughs> something, you know, it and doesn't... It in, fact, it, in fact, it copies the style of the original Adam's Family comics from the 50s. Art direction, really? Are you serious? What, what What's gonna be the next? I, 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 I said going to try and teach a lesson or something. Uh... Maybe, I don't know. I mean, there's art direction and then there's morals and shit. I don't, I don't always need morals in a movie. Sometimes I just want the movie to be entertaining. I don't need oh, to. You, 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 you need stand the cancer. Or... The story. Yes, you should be. Yeah, sure, whatever. But yeah, the uh, from what I've seen, looks pretty interesting. Um. Might even actually go out and see in cinemas if it's legitimately good, but uh, 
We'll see about that. For we know it's just gonna suck and everyone's gonna be like, no, this movie sucks, don't go see it. Um Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of movies, we actually did see like the casting for the new Kim Possible movie thing. And oh, wow. from what I've seen so far, it's pretty much on point. So, uh, as long as there's no Angelina Jolie involved. Well, is there? I hope not. I'm just preventively saying that, Alex. Oh, okay. Jolie is too expensive. It, but it, why? All she does is look like a fish in every movie she's in. Does he like fish sticks? That would be cannibalism, I think. Oh yeah, sure. But it was kind of making that side park joke with, uh, you know, so what are you, gay fish? <laughs> Anywho. It does not work if they are a woman. A woman can be gay too. Though. Then again, like yes, but you see, if is she, if she's lesbian, then it works, I guess. But yeah, uh, it, it's true. It doesn't really work when you're, uh, un unless uh, you know you're you're non-binary uh, other kin. I don't know. And anyway, you know what? I'm just gonna end this episode because now we're just rambling on, and I think we pretty much brought up every everything. I'm that pretty sure we did it for the last hour and a half or so. Well, yeah, that's the usual episode of Radio Thing. Anyway, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, do all the good jazz. There won't be an episode. There won't be an episode next week because I'll be good. preoccupied with, with real life. But the week after that, there's going to be a brand spanking new episode. So, uh, uh, yeah, um, give me money and... Um, no, give me money. Uh, or give Severe's money. I would, I would actually encourage you to give Severe's money. Um, Me too. Because he, he, he probably needs it more than I do. Damn right. So, so what are you gonna use the money on? If if they if, if you got like um, two hundred thousand Brit bonks, because people confuse you for. Uh, uh, thank obviously, you. Don. I, obviously, Alex, I will use it to buy more money. We've got to have money. And then he goes to the money store to just buy more money. It's like, uh, here's uh, 50 quid, I'll, I'll have 100 quid, and they just give it to you. Like, yeah, sure. And that's how he got it, you know, that's how he doubled his money. Anyway, like, subscribe, do all the good, just see you next time for another episode of the World Diesel Fashion Podcast on the entire planet. Cheers.